Welcome to our service of Compline this Tuesday, the 19th of September. I'm Reverend Carroll with the Kingsbury and Baxter Lee Group of Parishes. This evening, we are going to celebrate Theodore of Tarsus, who has was Archbishop of Canterbury. Uh, so, a little bit of information about Theodore of Tarsus. My Red Book says... Theodore was born at Tarsus in Sicilia, Cilicia, in about the year 602. He was an Asiatic Greek and had been educated in Athens before being appointed Archbishop of Canterbury by the Pope. He was raised straight from being a subdeacon to the Archepiscopal See, but immediately proved his worth by undertaking a visitation of the whole of England soon after his arrival. He set about reforming the church in England with the division of dioceses and summoned the Synod of Hartford on the 24th of September 673, probably the most important church council in the land, as it issued canons dealing with the rights and obligations of both clergy and religious. It restricted bishops to working in their own diocese and not intruding on the ministry of their prelate neighbours. It established precedents within the episcopi, episcopacy. It ensured that monks remained stable to their monastery and obedient to their abbot, and many other matters were dealt with to effect the good order of the church. The canons were based on those of the Council of Chalcedon, Theodore proved to be the first Archbishop of Canterbury to have the willing allegiance of all Anglo-Saxon England. He died on this day in the year 690. So, <clears throat> quite a guy. Got things moving. we sorted out in the Church of England. So, let us take a moment of quiet as I attempt to share my screen in the usual way. Words you see in bold are for you to join in with, should you wish to do so. If not, just listen and enjoy. celebrating Theodore of Tarsus and there is a stained glass window depicting him. Let us begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. We take a moment of quiet as we reflect on the past day, the past week, bring our thoughts and concerns to God and ask for his grace and forgiveness. We stay together. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sin, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And we listen to Tenebrae and their version of Te Lucis, Lucis Antiterminum.
A psalm this evening, Psalm 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplication. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me. To do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul. For truly, I am your servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading this evening comes from 
The Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 11, verse 28 to the end. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. And we listen to Tenebrae and their version of the Nymphus.
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Let us pray, that all may do to others as they would have done to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Give to the church grace to speak the word of pardon and to show its power by her example. Let all who confess the faith of Christ acknowledge the mercy they have received and in all things be slow to find fault in others, quick to forgive offences. Have compassion on the nations which suffer under heavy loads of debt. Bring a new spirit of generosity to those who have much, that they may be moved to relieve those who have little. May those who hold authority exercise it with mercy. We continue our prayers for the Ukraine and all places of war and conflict. For Morocco and all places of earthquake. And for Libya and for all places of flood. Have can guide us to be merciful to those who need our mercy. In all our relationships, may we be the first to forgive and make peace. Bring the spirit of love to solve the disputes and demands which are in this community. We pray especially for those who live or work on the A4097 in Kingsbury and Marston Caravan and Camping Park in Kingsbury. Beach Close in Hurley, Dow's Crescent in Wood End and Windmill Lane in Baxterley. And we pray for all those who are to be married this week or are preparing for marriage at this time. We pray for those who bear a heavy burden of personal debt and find no way to escape. Guide those who seek to help them in their problem. Have mercy on all who are are, who are imprisoned for debt and on their family. We pray for those who are ill in mind, body and soul, or those who have asked for our prayers at this time. Bring them peace. Bring them healing. We give thanks for the work of doctors, nurses, and all who care for the sick, whether at home, hospital, hospice, wherever they may be. <clears throat> we give thanks for the departed, whose debts of sin committed in this world have been forgiven, and who have entered into the life where anger and fear have ceased. We pray especially. For John Cross and Sheila Seedhouse, and all those who grieve the loss of a loved one, whether recently or those who have died in years gone by. We pray that we in our time may receive the same mercy. We offer our prayers through Christ, who has cancelled our debt of sin. Ah, and the collect. God, who in generous mercy sent the Holy Spirit upon your church in the burning fire of your love, grant that your people may be fervent in the fellowship of the gospel, that always abiding in you, they may be found steadfast in faith and are active in service. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, 
who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As we come to the ending of the day, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace, we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and to make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. My cat came to join us in evening prayer there. So that concludes our service of Compline for this Tuesday evening. I wish you all a safe, quiet and peaceful night and look forward to seeing you again next week. In the meantime, take care. God bless.